Hey, at some point, we finna start acknowledging DJ Muggs as one of the best active producers. He's already a legend for the work he did in the 90s, primarily with Cypress Hill. But since then, he's had this complete career renaissance where right now I put him up there with his mentee Alchemist as one of the best is using this grimy, minimalistic, sample heavy style that's completely dominating underground rap right now. Muggs is my producer of the year for 2021. He had a little bit quieter 2022, but he still had a project in my top 20. And then this year, he had that collab project with Mayhem Loren and another legendary producer in Mad Lib and I thought he outproduced Mad Lib on that project. A lot of big name features on this project plus some freaking collaborators. Let's get to it. I like how that guitar sound. Dosing off a deuce of red, just smoke two to the head. Purple jeans, stone jungle on the Medusa heads. We got whatever you need cocaine, heroin, and weed. Plus, I got two C's, that's all the more G's. I like that line talking about he's selling drugs because he got two kids. Had a studio AP with some bricks for the cheap. Crackheads broke in, stole everything. It was missing the sink. Yo, why the mix change right there? Did it get more muffled? Muggs gave Bodie home where he heard that first verse. Like, all right, nigga, finish the rest up at home and send me your verse. And when I work on the stove, we not missing the beat. Broke the <laughs> scraping the plate, sitting on the milk crate, cooking the cane while my engineer I missing the beat. Got the Kobe on the grits, purple jeans, sag on the weeds. We in the mud so deep in the field, I should trap some cleats. I like that. That's tough. You know that shot rattled around the rim a little bit, but it went in. I don't think that was the best Bodie. I also don't think that was the best Muggs, but I think. They brought it together towards the end of the track. Mugs hit me with the Euro on that sample. Mugs normally hit you with these dark, grimy beats where the samples sound like they found a vinyl in the gutter and they pulled it out and looped it. I think the guitar was interesting, but I don't know if Mugs is playing to his strengths with this one, especially with him going the drumless route because Mugs is a genius when it comes to pairing drums with samples. Beat was fine though. I think Bodie's first verse was light and I think the second one was pretty dope. I will say Bodie's pen has elevated to the point where even a Okay, rapping for him is still pretty lyrical. So while his round schemes weren't groundbreaking or anything, I think they were still pretty good. Content wise, Boldy is best when he's either punching or turning into a drug almanac. So in the first verse, it was pretty much pure braggadocio. It wasn't quite as interesting as that second verse when he got into that storytelling and painting that scene of being in the studio with Cole cooking the next room over. But overall, just a decent song. This is check in. Sipping whiskey with mugs, just left the polo rounds. Drop my bitch off in the hills, she from the polo grounds. She ain't really used to this shit. I live a fast life. Bop the legend, that's what they saying. I rock my flag right. <laughs> Yo, every time I hear J Word, it tripped me out. Cause he's Asian, I think. But my mind can't process how this is not a California nigga with dreads. He a California nigga for sure, but I thought his parents would be fighting on the other side of the LA race riots. Please don't call me with that he say, she For say. Real. No, I wasn't there, nigga. I don't need a replay. Nah. Maybe joint they gave the homie life. He got no phone. So when he feel alone, I'm somebody he can lean on. A I tough beat if Alchemist and Larry June is coke. Not that kind of coke, like Coca-Cola. We'll get to that kind of coke later in the album. But a Larry June and Al is coke. This was Pepsi. <laughs> he had a bright, airy B, the rapper from Jay Worthy. Everything felt like it could have been on that The Great Escape album. Like that bass line and then that high pitch. I think it was an organ. It definitely was a vibe. Now, I don't rock with the rapper from Jay Worthy. Look, man, being really gangster is not a replacement for rapping well. I mean, I felt and believed everything Jay Worthy was spitting, but that rapping is so basic, dog. Two syllable rhyme schemes, no end rhymes, basic flows, no standout lines. In my opinion, when you're rapping on minimal beats like this, the rapping can't just be okay. Because there's not a whole lot of flash with the production, even though the production is good, the rap has to be main focus, and this rapping went main focusable. When Mug come out with the instrumental version of this, this one will go crazy, but as it is, nah, this ain't for me. This is Sicilian Gold with Ghostface Killer and West Side Gun. Uh, I read signs like astrology. Gun listen to nudie? 
the chain, yes. Yes. the biggest race, yes. You call Tanny, yes. Step on with Ronnie Feg AC. Yeah, this is the first set of verses I'm really rocking with. I like how Ghost opened this. The nigga got deep in his luxury bag. Like, this wasn't the regular type of luxury talk. This is the type of luxury talk that actually made me feel broke. Like, you rapping about Versace, that ain't finna make me feel that broke. I can go to Phillips and go see that tomorrow. Like, rap about stuff that I can't go find a fake of. Ghost wasn't just talking about high fashion. He was talking about that fashion that'll make an animal go on the endangered species list. But I like his verse. The lyricism was good. He floated. But I think West Side Gun left Earth with his verse. Best verse on the album so far. Lyrically, as far as his rhyme structure and his flow, he even one up Ghost. And then add in the charisma. I like this delivery. That pirate saved my life. I be hugging it loud. It was dope. And of course, he had his luxury talk mixed with the dope talk. Musk could normally do a good job flipping a guitar sample, but I like when he flips it in a darker way. The keys on this beat lighten the beat up a lot. He created a steady that I think fit Ghost a little bit better than it fit Gun Style. Still a pretty good beat though, but Muggs is one of the best right now. But this ain't his best set of beats. Let's see if he really get in his bag on 67 keys. Never put out a bad batch of dope. Kick the door, and niggas thought the latch was broke. Been had ratchets, and make me lift the mattress to get the pole and get the clapping. The clip to kicked off the back of the fishing boat. Way he's playing with his back sound is sick, and then love the imagery right here. Saying it's still not, I ain't the way I'm built. My bitch sniffed the air off the bill when breakers ain't real on the silk. Might have to go sweat on the quilt, bitch. We some slick players for real. Man, back to back, this is a five syllable rhyme scheme. He is talking. I raise a kill, landscape and making it safe, and the snakes reveal. I made it my hand to stay on your hills like a Navy cell. Yo, Rock's wording is top tier. He can take anything and make it sound good. I mean, the way most rappers would have just said there's snakes in the grass, but for him to say we was landscape and made a shape, and then the snakes were revealed. And then the creative word is also how he's able to pull out these elaborate rhyme schemes. Pretty hoes blowing on my dice in the casino. Yo, why is he just spin the chorus? For that we know. Nigga, yeah, yeah. It's like I write rhymes with coke lines. Work fronting like neutral <laughs> niggas who throw. <laughs> I like that line. Beating me for shit I did in the past. Although I'm chilling in the present, I was getting it fast. You think these the diamonds just fell out of the sky? Sometimes I wake up with my scrotum getting licked in Dubai. Hey, that's actually quite tame for Dubai. Apparently, oil money, camels, and IG models is a very unholy mix. I'm on the daily because you live and you die. Acclimated overlord is what my aura implied. Yo, why is Rock Marcy so good at rapping? The storytelling, the way that he just abuses syllables. He can weave in and out of different rhyme schemes effortlessly. The creative word, I mean, everything that he does really well was on display here. It was a great verse from him. I think Mayhem came with it too. It was just going to be hard not to get outshined by that verse that Rock had. But his rhyme schemes were pretty good too. Mostly four syllable rhyme schemes. Not quite as intricate as Rock, but I I've liked the improvement I've seen in Mayhem's pen recently. Luxury Talk was there. They had Rome Streets do the chorus. You know, not the best use of his talents. Rome Streets is an incredibly gifted rapper. Better than Mayhem for sure. I think that's like using KD to set screens and rebound. And then Muggs, this beat, you know, this is taking a dead horse and jumping that nigga like Eminem off 8 Mile. He sounds better doing murkier beats. There's another bright beat with that airy piano sample. It's fine, it gets the job done, but it wasn't great. This is Joker's Wild with CeeLo Green. Defender versus plaintiff, but that ain't why I'm famous. Lyrics about life and death. This is Logan and sign language. The shoe is inside of you. What in the cholo is going on? But with Pac Man and Hodges broke me up on all the charges. And of course, you wish you could. Is this cultural appropriation? they going to get Crime Apple to do this? Little niggas on the floor looking for every jewel drop. Pro club crew neck, knee high tube socks. Take nine lines from them cats over there. You'll get stripes for those. Nylon Cortez, Danger vs. Juarez. House of ours, especially when the house you live in is a house of God. You know, most artists have another artist who they let Pete the album beforehand. I need to know who okayed that. I never want to hear that song again. I have no idea why CeeLo is rapping with that stupid accent. It was like this mafioso, bravado, street talk verse, but from a Hispanic perspective. The song was like the SoundCloud version of Vato by Snoop Dogg. That song was bad. The beat wasn't good either. I've been talking about how mugs sound better on darker beats. They took the most uninteresting sample, and then for no rhyme or reason, they brought in these Goofy sounding violins. That song was bad. This is Shell Casings with TF. I've never been so excited to hear TF in my life. Yo, where was this the whole album? This beat is amazing. This beat okay. is so fire. Okay. Palette cleanser. Uh, 20 year Woo. Frank, Zeke, caviar. 
ridge crackers. Seen that happen in the parking lot. Yo, I found out that I was allergic to caviar. Yo, that's how you know when I make it, make it. I'm never switching up, dog. Because you know what I never had an allergic reaction to? Catfish. The bitch look like she came from Camelot. I'm about to make this bitch <laughs> that's star. That's so Mike stupid. <laughs> What does that even mean? <laughs> Camelot is the joint from King Arthur's Tales, the joint with Lancelot and all them knights and stuff. You gassed up, don't get your candle lit. Snap my fingers, how you missing on some Thanos shit? So what's so love? Baby. I can't stand a bitch. Everything scandalous, bitch. I got my shit. All I know is crack safes. Never snitch, we eat cases. Never switch up. Mm -hmm. On your niggas bought no pussy or no big faces. Facts. Other than that, let's keep this shit thanks. Yo, this album might be exactly what I need. I've been so positive lately. Oh, this album is so great. Oh, this rapping is so elite. The lyricism. Not for this album. I mean, we've had spots and pockets. But this is my reminder that everybody ain't elite. This is not bad, but like I said earlier, if you're going to rap on a minimal beat, the rapping can't just be pretty good. If the rapping's pretty good, the song's going to sound boring. Would have much loved to hear a better artist like Rome Streets on a beat this grimy, this dusty, and this good. TF certainly had that grimy street talk to match the aesthetic of the beat. I just need a little bit more with the rhyme structures. He had a couple of punches that well, snap Thanos. We heard that a thousand times. The beat was good enough to carry it, but with all the great rappers that Muggs is friends with, I think TF drags this one down. This is Street Made with Scarface and Freddie Gibbs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nah, this beat is hard too. This ain't no jack move, nigga. Pull your pants up. And man up, you out here looking like a dancer. Jojo shooting at children, and that's a no no. You up the fo fo, you better be ready for what's behind. I'll give partial credit for that Jojo dancer. We did it for dope and the dollar signs. Yo, you did it for likes all on your lives. Yeah. Surprise. What the streets made, street raised. Mama through yeah. LA fucking with bees and the seas. Stuck in the D game. I got different Ooh. flavors of dope like niggas got weed strains. <laughs> Wait the <laughs> more to so set in. That nigga freeze. Frame. That's so fire. Flow <laughs> came on a tough boat. Fitting on, got him comatose. Gotta watch it these days. They can trace it back when a nigga overdose. Hold that shit. We jack these rappers. Why do y'all shopping? Nigga, let me hold that shit. I like that last flow a lot. Dick her down, she got potential, then I might mold that bitch. And I better not ever get prosecuted for nothing I told that bitch. Yo, another disgusting beat. Hopefully this mean DJ Muggs is heating up, because these last two beats have been it. These dusty sounding bells. Nigga, do you know how hard you got to be to make bells sound hard? Yeah, tough sample, the drum sounded good. But unfortunately, guys, we have to have this conversation. It pains me to say, Scarface is in my top 10 all time. I feel like most people don't have Scarface in their top 10, but he has a borderline top three discography in rap, super underrated, but this junk does not sound good in 2023. There's plenty of rappers from that era who can still do it now. Black Thought, Nas, Ghostface Killer still sounds good, as is Raekwon and Deck, who I don't think are on this album. But that two syllable rapping, just drop real talk, don't really have to have punches, don't have to have internal rhyme schemes, that stuff works in the 90s lyricism has elevated beyond that point like if you do not know who that Scarface is an absolute legend and you take his verse and put it up against the TF verse that I just roasted that TF verse is better niggas gonna be saying that Scarface verse was good because they giving participation trophies out or lifetime achievement awards but you know Freddie came through he saved the song like the security guard threw the hat up in the sky Freddie came through with that energy Freddie's flows are so sick I like his dope talk that I got different flavors of dope like niggas got different strains lined that was hard the open Opening flow is tough, and then that second flow, those are my favorite two flows, where even the way he ended the verse, I like that borderline double time flow that he got into. I'm rocking with the song overall because of Freddie and Muggs. This is where we at with Bodie James. Monday is Robinson D. Wednesday is Get Up. Like the flow. Tuesday and Thursday, we watch for the sweet. Got like Friday, 90s Saturday, gauge no vibes. I look at this cage in the walls. One day, hopefully, it'll sink in. I like in. this flow. All the trouble and the pain that we caught. But my love of the game, it was flawed. By the money. Chains in the cars, Cali weather, the weed in the wind. Hundred bands on my premium dinner. That's interesting. It was like a sample reveal in the middle of the song. The way it was looped in there was kind of weird, but I kind of rock with it. Definitely rocking with this flow from Bodhi though. Got ahead of myself for a minute. Uh, uh, uh. I forgot for a second the reason I'm in it. Fears on the question and I like, like that, my that job. Life, that ain't even my business. I never tell him I suspend. 
before it's been as hell to hell. Dirty clip in that FN. Streets will take you to places you've never been. I think Voldy Muzz went for it on that song. That was a little bit out of the box for both of them. Voldy had that swingy flow from start to finish. And Voldy get flack for having one flow. I think his delivery is monotone, which I personally don't mind. But he definitely switches up the flows a good bit, especially over the course of the last like two years. Good verse and content wise, it was a little bit different for him too, because as opposed to coming off remorses like he normally does, he was really reflective in his verses. He rapped about feeling and hustling. Real unique sampling had that lo fi grainy aesthetic. In concept, I like how he flipped the sample like 16 bars into the song and used a different part of that sample. The only thing I didn't rock with is Bodie kept the same flow. And once Muggs had that sample flip, that part of the song didn't really fit the flow. But other than that, I like this song more than the first song they had together. This is We Ain't Playing. I like this guitar. It's arpeggiating real subtly. I got this. Drum sound good. Back to back BMWs 22 like it's me and those. I hit the four fives exit. La Tierra was bracket woke. Molly in the passenger sliding. Don't make that nigga shoot. Fast side bonding, hitting legs out of Bentley Coop. Everybody thinking like Biggie High. Give me the loot. Take me out. I like that storytelling. That ain't the most lyrical verse as far as rhyme scheme, but I rock with it, dawg. The way he painted that scene, ready to slide on somebody. That was a short verse, but it was tough. Mitch match fashion, whole film with the velo. Nigga made it out the dungeon like I'm CeeLo. One time for big gift. That punch was like to defend the honor of CeeLo Green after that BS he pulled on Joker's Wild. That out the dungeon line was tough. CeeLo Green was in the dungeon family. Roll rage, you don't want to see me out in traffic. I know magic. Turn your head into an empty basket. She got locked up. All my <laughs> That's tough. Solid. She was my sponsor on my last bed. Product of fit. Blame it on my environment. See, I'm now I'm in the stocks. Property. Multivitamins. Still a keep a chopper or two. That's for the linemen. They hold the block down and duck the sirens. Not a bad song. I think all three had pretty solid verses. I think Jay Worthy had the best verse. Tia probably had a little bit more lyricism, but the imagery and storytelling on Jay Worthy's verse notches it above the other two. Tia was talking slick, and I thought he slid pretty well on the beat. 211 was my least favorite, but he didn't have a bad verse either. I think that CeeLo Green line was the best bar in the song. Beat was cool. I thought that arpeggiated guitar sounded pretty good. Then I'm gonna always welcome the boom bap drums. Pretty good. This is Burn the Playbook with evidence of Domo Genesis. Never done though. If I'm a run, I'm a never run slow. Treble down in the bass up. I let the record rumble. See me for a minute. I've been recomposing. Uh, back to recap the benefits of being chosen. Accountable for what I say now. Right I'm stubborn even if this fire, I don't stay down. I nurse some shit to dead it after this. My heaven off the devil chapter. Illest nigga at work. Check the metadata. I don't lose sleep over the moments that fire. never happened. I'm not answer to the question asked. This shit is personal. Squares like about my circle for the curvature. Nothing special it's about it, just a role reversal. Now looking first, holding to their plans is how I'm furthering minds. Arrived too late to be this early in time. I can't explain it. Right. Yo, Domo got it. His verse was tough. I think dude's underrated. He's from that odd future collective. And while he was in the group, he really got overshadowed and still a little bit to this day by Earl and Tyler, Frank. But since the group this band and he's been really consistent both with his projects I mean when he releases and with his lyricism I think he had one of the better verses on this album him and evidence really pair well because they have this unique abstract way of bragging I thought the rhyme schemes that he used with slick his flow sounded good evidence had a really similar style where he was rapping mostly about his musical abilities and bragging about that and he had an abstract style similar to Domo I just think his rhyme schemes were cool one four syllable rhyme scheme in there but other than that, two and three syllables. He also didn't have the slick lines that Domo had. But once again, I thought their chemistry was good. A lot of these beats have just been fine. This is another one. That cloudy, dusty sample isn't that captivating. I do think the drums sounded good, but the drums are pretty basic. Nothing crazy enough to carry the beat. Overall, it makes it a pretty good song carried heavily by Domo. This is Crazy Horse with Rob Marcy and Crime Apple. Yeah. Smoking torch over your corpse in the streets, whole yeah. court. Guns on the crazy horse by the court. Dump your yeah. sword off out the floor, that score. Fuck what you thought we fought the whole before. Yo, Rock is different, dog. He is talking filthy, gritty imagery. And then almost every syllable is rhyming because he's going back to back with his or sound. 
Kinda tricky, huh? You shaved in the kidney for one sticky yeah. bun. My nigga was really good. You really yeah, shaved in the kidney for one sticky bun. For him to be this vivid with everything rhyming with that it sound, this nigga is different. Yeah. Eyes teary, I took a 20 bump. My bitch still yeah. penny slid to the fenny pumps. <laughs> I played like a cowboy, tied the engine up. Henny and cup, gun in the finger dust. Send you up on the wings of love, pretty much. <laughs> Smack a naysayer with paper. <laughs> hey, he always good for one outlandish bar. How you go from shooting a nigga one line and now you slapping niggas with paper? Sonic traits, my tape shake tectonic plates, no time to waste. Seen a few great men feel the rise of race. Bro, I don't know what it is, dog. Crime be sounding regular some projects. I hate to say it, but when he be on the track with DJ Muggs, this nigga start rapping like he invented rhyme schemes. Nigga came out the gate letting the chopper scene. I'm getting paid while Renee face bouncing yeah. on my waist. Oh, while we bump the case, missing you, I had it come for days. Yeah. Oh, Sitting in the coupe recline, this brand don't make shoes your size. Yeah. Could be tearing your shit to pieces slave. when I'm throwing a peace sign. Wow. Cherish the present, cause now you in the presence of an impressive yeah. collective. Statistically metric, you pinch it through resin. The alliteration is so fire. Both him and Rock doing it, bro, it makes the flow sound so smooth. They in Puxatani with Andy McDowell Make a hole in the ground and get down Bro, coming to the album, this is what I was expecting The beat itself sound like death Mugs had rock and crime sounded like they was villains in a horror movie Super spooky sample and then both them niggas left Earth Two best verses on the album in my opinion Every line from both of them was spooky as well Straight violent imagery Then every line was laced with intricate rhyme schemes And then the alliterations Both dudes would take one vowel sound and just spaz with it If you put a gun to my head and maybe pick which verse was best I go rock by a slight margin. I think his imagery was just a tad more vivid. But overall, that song was sick. This is Metropolis with Method Man and Slick Rick. What is that sample? First they said I was overrated. Illegal motion. I had no motive or motivation. So I fly in to a situation, no lubrication. Plus I'm losing patience for penance. And I rebuke you. I don't know why some of these metaphors, but the rhyme scheme is tough. See, tell all the clergy, I'm low-key I just hold the hammer cause y'all ain't worthy You worms hurt me, just watch the birdie And call it early, and it's 30 30s the Man, this beat over here sound like something you chopping up a body to Nigga got a Jeffrey Dahmer type beat When the beat jerky, these hoes thirsty To a mic fiend, hey, Thanksgiving is cold turkey Oh my daddy, bubbles in front of us Massey, watch us, style nigga When the fuck is this, mad because us Tain, nigga, time and bubbles us No key force has Report last, one of the honor his Champs, he got this don't make me do it. I already had to do it, Scarface. Don't make me do it. Pull it together, Rick. Some of the corniest, one of the corniest, must have fallen this. Nah, seem backwards. backwards. Law and order, anti black cat, force oh, intact hats. Yeah. Folks yeah. gifted, leave a quick hit, more artistic. You see your fan base still loving the grandness, lip delicious. All my old school hip hop heads, lean in, lean in. Y'all need to hear this. I'm an old school hip hop head too, so we in this together, but lean in. That verse was awful. That verse is trash. Some niggas, we just need to give them their pension and let them retire, cause they don't got it no more. You know, that joint might ride 30 years ago, but now I get it when niggas be on Twitter talking about young boy better. Ugh, man, that was bad, dawg. And I've heard recent Slickery verses, particularly his verse on West Side Guns, what was it, Who Made the Sunshine, was fine. That was so bad, dawg. The flow was stupid. He was talking about nothing. That joint reminded me of, y'all remember that Fat Albert movie where the niggas like learned what rap music was and started rapping? That would've fit right in with that movie. So whack, dog. Method Man had a verse though. That verse was fine. Method Man still got it. The only thing is some of them punches was either very elementary or questionable. Good rhyme schemes. I like how grimy the beat was. I think that beat probably needed drums on it. Honestly, anything that would have drowned it out Slick Rick's verse would have been better. I ain't even gonna say he dropped 30. Method Man dropped a cool 20 points in a 50 point blowout. That song is not it. This is We Coming For The Safe. Drugs on to the flesh, huh? On my DG doing numbers like a touch tongue. Bone crusher in the club, carve a nigga up. Shit was all this fuss, shit and never. See, niggas don't be patting down. How you get that in the club? Last night I sat up, held my plug, kind of two million bucks. I had no pops on my line until I built it up. Popped the trunk on that Ford Escape and then I filled it up. On my sprint phone, running through the bed. That's coming through the paint. 200 on the dash, 100 in the drain. Gritting with that puppy child and that Yukonova. Got the hook trying to box me in, doing pit manure. Yo, Bodie James got so many synonyms for drugs. That nigga called heroin puppy child. I like that. Playing with them chickens wasn't really in the cellar herb. Only rapper breathing, still living each and every word. Hold on, I hello. It. How many you need? I rap. 
But in my leisure, I be selling birds. Tell Livo, I be back in like 15 minutes. I stepped out of my session, I had to catch a swerve. Brick connect, short as zip. He got some hella nerve. Down in Toledo, posted on the 145th. Man, I think it's about time for Muggs and Boulder to have a project together. I think each verse that he's had on this album has progressively gotten better. For Boldy, this is his best verse on the album. For him, this is bread and butter. The vivid drug talk, I thought his rhyme schemes were good. I love him getting that duality of rapping, being one foot in the drug game and one foot in the rap game at the same time. I think that was a great performance from him. Mugs, these beats ain't doing it for me. They'd be fine if I didn't know how great of a producer he was, but these samples are just uninterested and without the drums, for some of these, it just feels like background music, especially with how muddy the samples are. I think Boldy's rapping was good enough to carry the song, but underwhelming beat. It's his skeleton bones with wrong streets. Yo, this snare is hitting like a split second after what you think it would hit, and it's making this beat sound trippy. Play dirty, they never told you that life fit. Made bins off my dreams, started with a nickel and a nightmare. The written in the flesh, do what you do with that. Know the laws of power, don't get too attached. In tune with the tool that I use to clap. At you niggas first, fuck right. shooting back. It's nice. fucked up when somebody you love using it crack. Is, it's kinda like suicide. Nice. I say that like I know crackheads personally. Like a bitch with a fat ass and Fenty makeup. That she wear to hide the scars <laughs> from a life in danger. That's extended, blowing cush blends out the bins with. Uh -huh. You always gonna be broke because you made five and spent six and doing something for nothing. All that financial literacy ish. I'm relentless, like Robert Beck when I pinch it. Your girl give me gobble neck, but never get a mention. Hey, Rome Streets over Mugs beat Deadly Combo. I mean, Rome Streets, he ain't had a bad verse in a minute, but to this day, I still think his project that he had with Mugs is his best work. It was straightforward, it was all street talk. He dropped a few gems in there. But for Rome Streets, man, it's the way he manipulates those syllables, very similar to what Rob Marcy and Crime Apple did on their song. You get that vivid imagery and just one intricate rhyme scheme after the other highlight with a lot of alliterations. The song's called Skeleton Bones. Unfortunately, this beat from Muggs felt a little skeletal. It wasn't bad. I think those arpeggiating keys were more interesting than a lot of the samples on here, but still none of these samples are blowing me away, and then the drums are pretty simple. It's still one of the better songs on the album, though. This is Dump On Them with B Real, Ice Cube, oh no, and MC Ren. I can see where this is gonna go. What in the hip hop turns 50 is this? I'm a lion roaming through the jungle. Every day's a struggle. Every Not day's a hustle. Every day you gotta flex a muscle. In the home of the drive bys and gang ties. Better stay on your game and keep your fucking eyes wide open. Motherfuckers always on the come up. Follow you home and then they run up with the gun. You know, I don't think that was a great verse from Be Real, but that was passable. I can do with that. You know, not gonna lie, I got a little PTSD from the Slick Rick verse and from that Scarface verse, so I'm glad I ain't have to go there with that Be Real verse. Villain give a fuck while I'm verbally blasting. Still hungry, nigga, like I'm fasting. Stay the fuck away while these titans is clashing. Now your chin on swole like Jay Leno. Cause oh, your no. drunk ass couldn't understand Inno. Nigga, oh, no. Nigga, this fucking instrumental. Yeah, you, you definitely did dump on this beat. Took a big old dump. Ever since he dumped on him, homie came back to haunt him. Ever since he shot him, every day is autumn. Every day is fall. Can't sleep at all. About to climb the walls. Gotta walk the halls. Shouldn't have mixed the cocaine and the cognac. He was a maniac in that dump truck. And when the popos caught him, now he jumped up. Yo, why they gotta make me the bad guy? I'm not the bad guy here. They the bad guys. They made this song. I didn't make this song. Now, I'm gonna excuse Be Real for this conversation. It was pretty cool seeing Mug said Be Real, even though Be Real isn't that good on today's lyricism standards. He was decent, and it's cool seeing that Cypress Hill connection. But then Ice Cube and MC Rand, dog, these niggas is not in shape. There's plenty rappers from that era who've evolved their style and their fire to this day. Method Man's rapping at a high level. Nas has completely found the fountain of youth. Cube and Ren, they not one of them. Look, I'll put it like this. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, one of the greatest of all times. I do not want to see Kareem Abdul-Jabbar playing the Big Three tournament in 2023. That's what some of these features feel like, man. I mean, the rhyme scheme stuck in the 90s. These bars are really questionable. We watching Rome Streets and Rob Marcy and Bodie James doing step backs and pulling up from 40 to here we got NWA pulling out the jump hook. It's just not good. Sorry.
Overall, man, this project's a letdown. Ain't really no way around it. It's disappointing because Muggs' career has been the opposite of the criticism I got into with a lot of these legends, where Muggs' legacy was already cemented for the work he did with Cypress Hill, but even he evolved his style and thrust himself right in this hip hop, I call it an underground renaissance, right now with this new underground, neo-mafioso, 90s East Coast influence sound. He did that by evolving his sound as hip hop, as a genre evolved. And while none of the production here sounds dated, this just isn't up to par with most of his recent stuff. Like, I don't think there's a beat on here that would touch even his worst beef off his Champagne from Breakfast album earlier this year. And then when you get into songs with artists he's previously worked with, like Crime Apple or Rome Streets, these beats aren't as good as the ones he's laced them with on their projects. That said, these beats weren't particularly bad, but I think obviously Muggs thrives in that boom bap aesthetic, and there was a few boom bap drums here, but not quite enough. And then these samples, while they did have this cohesive lo-fi aesthetic to them, I'll say about half of these samples were uninteresting, but way worse than that is some of these questionable features. The CeeLo Green was just unacceptable. They need to throw that track away. The NWA joins, the Scarface joints. I know they legend, but I call it spade a spade. Those features feel like, you know how rappers come out with deluxe albums. The deluxe album of this should be them taking off the album. Like the deluxe shouldn't even have any additional songs. It'd just be subtraction, addition by subtraction. But that said, this album do have some highlights and it's from the usual suspects. Boldy Jenks was good here. I think he deserved the three feature spots. Rob Marcy was as advertised and his song with Crime Apple, I think is the highlight off of here. Then you got some of Mug's friends who he usually collaborates, who was right in the middle like TF. I think in a vacuum, this ain't the worst project, but even compared to the other two Soul Assassins, this is the worst one easily. And it ain't too much more to say. This is some mid.